All right, guys, welcome to part two of preventing 17 million deaths a year. Um, just recapping from uh, the last video, heart disease is the number one killer in America and worldwide. According to the WHO, um, estimated 17.9 million people a year die worldwide from heart disease. That's no small number. Um, before I get into the video, I just want to briefly mention again that I am doing online training on Zoom sessions. If you live in the Chicago area, I'd be willing to meet you at a park. I have some fitness equipment. I'm trying to become more entrepreneurial because I've been laid off for the last 90 days. So if you're interested in training, I have a client recently that lost uh, 10 pounds in just six weeks and lost 5% of her body weight in just six weeks. So. If you are interested in training, let me know. I have about three years of experience. I'm charging $25 per session. The gym charges that I work at charges $50 for a half hour session. So I'm about half the price. And the price may be negotiable if you are struggling financially and just don't have the finances. It might be able to lower it a little bit. If you are interested, let me know. Contact me at 630-301-4533. Give me a text or call. Or you can email me, Jacob underscore R-E-V-O-R at yahoo.com. But anyways, let's get into the video, what you're really here for. So we mentioned that heart disease is, again, our number one killer, taking out a lot of people. And we mentioned briefly that this diet, or that heart disease does not have to be your, you don't have to be afraid of it. It's preventable and reversible. Let me just briefly quote this study that I did at the end of the last video in case you missed it or you forgot about it, and it's an absolutely amazing study. In 1960, in the American Journal of Cardiology, the researchers used three groups of people. They had a group of St. White, St. Louis white patients, St. Louis Negroes, as well as Uganda Negroes. They found in the St. Louis group of 632 people that were 136 heart attacks. However, the, in the age match autopsies of the Ugandan group of 632 people, there was only one single heart attack. They did autopsies to find this information. I briefly mentioned in the last video that genetics is a poor excuse, that this study of over 60, about 60 years ago puts that to shame. So we can't be genating, blaming genetics, it's about lifestyle and diet. So, I didn't mention in the last video what the Ugandans are eating. Well, according to the Agriculture and Consumer Protection Department, the Ugandan diet is dominant in a lot of plant foods such as sweet potato, cassava, cereal, pulses, nuts, greens, leafy vegetables, and rice. So they're eating a lot of plant food. The American diet is high in um, cholesterol, saturated fats, sugar, processed foods, salt, way too much sodium in the American diet. The American diet is far from healthy. It's funny because uh, the typical, or typically known for uh, eating french fries, burgers, hot dogs, pizza, and yeah, that stereo there's some truth to that stereotype. Not that everybody eats that way. I don't eat that way. So, I want to mention more about how to prevent this disease. because. I mentioned in the first video, I wanted to give you all the statistical data and facts first of how scary of a disease this is. Because once you understand that this is something to take seriously, you're going to be motivated to change. Because if you're not motivated to change, then what's the point of even presenting this information? So I just wanted to let people know this is a very serious disease. Study done in the Journal of Cardiology studied the vegetarian diet and cholesterol. One group followed the regular American diet with individuals having a weekly average of one egg per day, one commercial baked good today, and at least one serving of red meat per day. The groups then switched the diet for three weeks. It was found that there was a significant reduction in LDL cholesterol. So LDL is considered the bad cholesterol, HDL is considered the good cholesterol. It was a reduction of 30% reduction in, in calories in the vegetarian group, even when people flipped diets. The authors do note, however, that it could have been reduction in calories that may have lowered the cholesterol. Does it really matter, though? 
if it's lower if it's lower in calories this diet people naturally consumed less calories on the vegetarian diet than they did on the standard American diet but doesn't matter anyways perhaps we should follow a vegan or vegetarian diet to naturally lower our calories to keep us slim and trim um, even if it is the reduction of calories this diet did lower their cholesterol and it was easier to, to keep their calories low um, so yeah the vegetarian diet is shown to lower cholesterol um, and should be highly considered for sure it's clearly easy to reduce your calories on a plant-based diet because these people did it naturally without even trying so another study in the same article that I came across and again this is all going to be posted in the description below I um, I want people to have access to this information too just to, you know I'm not making this up people are always so skeptical nowadays um, the Yamanin Indians that focused on eating roots, sweet potatoes, wild fruits, sugar cane with little processed foods, fruit, foods available and only getting meat from hunting along with no milk, alcohol, or eggs. They were compared to the me American men from the NHANES study. The result was that this group of people had lower TC, LDL, and HDL cholesterol. So that was the same article I read before, and it was focusing um, on another study. So, three ways Dr. Greger recommends to severely limit your risk of heart disease. He says, I'm put these on the screen, take notes if you'd like, put it on your phone, put it in Google Drive, put it in Microsoft Words. Um, so transfer from processed foods. So avoid the processed foods. So avoid saturated fats, so that's from like palm oils, coconut oil, uh, animal products, cheese, egg, bacon, dairy products, um, meats, those are all going to be higher in saturated fats, those all have saturated fats in them, and cholesterol from animal foods such as eggs. Eggs is a very controversial topic, but you know what? The meat, dairy, and egg industry have uh, gotten their way into the nutritional science and they blow studies out of proportion because who wants, who on earth wants their, let their customers know that they're killing 17 million people a year. Um, if they let their customers know that, then they're going to be out of business. So uh, meat, dairy, and egg industry is a very corrupt industry. That are always trying to um, manipulate the science. A lot of uh, good organizations, they're supposed to be good organizations, have their funding coming from the meat, dairy, and egg industry. So um, keep in mind that is a reason why there's so much conflicting evidence out there, why there's so much confusion. Meat's healthy, is meat not healthy, is eggs healthy, is an eggs not healthy? You're gonna see mixed reviews in the science, and that's because there's a lot of funding sourced. Um, come on guys, let's just use common sense. Fruits and vegetables are what's healthy. Don't we all know this? Isn't this basic nutrition? Haven't we all been taught this since we were kids? It's the food that comes in nature that's going to be the most healthy. We don't even need studies. We just got to use common sense. Berries, apples, bananas, oranges, green leafy vegetables, sweet potatoes. These are all the things that are healthy for you. We we all agree with this, right? Okay, moving on. Um, so, the next tip, and I would uh, encourage you to write all these down. I'll put them up on the screen again, right by my head. Um, avoid the risk factors. So, risk factors are high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, overweight and obesity, and an unhealthy diet. So I would encourage you to write those six down if you're trying to lower your cholesterol and you want to live a healthier lifestyle. Or if you know all this, then that's cool too. And then number seven and eight would be physical inactivity and excessive alcohol use. So again, the eight risk factors, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, overweight and obesity, unhealthy diet, physical inactivity, excessive alcohol use, uh, we encourage to cook in water instead of oil, avoid or severely limit meat. One of the best treatments for high cholesterol, according to the Journal of Nutrition and Metabolism, 
would be Brazil nuts. So one study, so the study published in this uh, journal showed 10 men and women eating a single meal between 1 to 8 Brazil nuts. Compared to the group that ate no nuts at all, they had 20 point drop in just 9 hours after eating the Brazil nuts. I'm not even sure if a cholesterol lowering drug can do that. Maybe it can, I don't know, I, I haven't researched that much. But uh, why take the drugs when you can lower it naturally and it has all the side effects? I mean, I don't want to tell people to quit taking their medicine. Take your medicine, but get healthy enough to where you don't need it anymore. Because the less medicine you need, it just proves that you're getting healthier. When you're on a lot of medicine, that is a sign that you are not healthy. So continue to take your medicine, but work your way off of them by following a healthy lifestyle. Um, our bodies want to be healthy, guys. Um, you know, the term always comes out is moderation. Eat everything in moderation. But if you're unhealthy, you need to quit that mindset. You need to eat real clean and real healthy. It's, um, it's like if you get, maybe, let's say you get kicked in the shin in soccer and you weren't wearing shin guards. And then you go to the doctor and you say, my shin hurts. The doctor says, all right, I'm going to give you these pain medicines. You go back and you play soccer again without shin guards and you get kicked again the next game and you get kicked every single game and you keep going back to the doctor and you say, my shin hurts, my shin hurts, ah, you're, why won't this get better? Well, you're not letting yourself heal. Your, our bodies want to be healthy. They want to heal, guys. We just have to give it the opportunity. I would, I would encourage you, if you're really serious about, if you've had heart disease and you're really serious about cleaning up your diet and your act, Get rid of all these processed foods. Get rid of the meat, the sugar, the dairy, the eggs. Put uh, clean, whole food, plant-based foods in your body. Berries, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, apples, bananas, oranges, watermelon, strawberries, uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, carrots, peas, beans. Oh, the, we, we could, I can go on and on. Just shop in the produce section. Shop in the produce section and eat lots and lots of healthy fruits and vegetables. Not only will it prevent heart disease and pretty much make you immune to heart attacks, it will keep you slim and trim. Um, Dr. Greger mentions that even having one single meal of egg and sausage McMuffin meal can stiffen your arteries within an hour. So again, you think, all right, well, I haven't had an egg and sausage McMuffin in five days. I'm, I'm good. Well one single meal can stiffen your arteries you gotta let your body heal um, page 26 on how not to die he quotes a study of a man only being able to walk 9 to 10 steps who went vegan and had his pain improve in days and in months was climbing mountains that was another study done page 26 how not to die why isn't then this more information more well known well follow the money guys the meat milk Egg producers, they get upset by this. He mentions that on page 27 in his uh, book. That's why this information isn't more known. There's a lot of corruption. And unfortunately, as the Bible says, the love of money is the root of all evil. Now, not money is the root of all evil. It's the love of money. Um, and fortunately, a lot of people love money. And this is where the corruption comes from. It leads to all kinds of uh, evil and corruption when people love money more than the lives of people. So my final advice and strictly my opinion, because I'm some guy on the internet that just, tra that just trains people and has a beautiful family. I, if you are truly serious and you want my absolute opinion, again, I'm just some guy on the internet who's taken some nutrition courses and who likes to live a healthy lifestyle, eat a whole food plant-based diet, get rid of this dairy, get rid of this meat, get rid of the eggs, get rid of the sugar. You decide how many ounces of poison you want to put in your body. How often do you want to do it? Is once a week okay? Yeah, it's not going to kill you, but how often do you really want your body being exposed to things that it shouldn't be? Eat lots of healthy foods guys we we've been on this channel for three or four years now and um we have lots of what i eat in a day's recipes we're uh 
it's always healthy stuff too. It's always it's always a vegetable based thing or fruit based thing. It's always healthy recipes. Follow our other recipes. Follow our what I eat in a days. Um, it just just eat what's in nature, man. Just uh, lots lots of different fruits, lots of different vegetables. Um, start changing your diet a little bit each day because I get it. If you're not used to this lifestyle, it's not easy to change overnight. But our videos, we don't eat, we eat very little processed foods. Not that we never do, we do sometimes. Because I know once in a while, once, one, two, three times a month is going to be okay. I mean, I had Ben and Jerry's ice cream two weeks ago at Hadassah's birthday. That was very unhealthy with a lot of sugar, but I know I'm going to be fine because I'm not having it often. Eat lots and lots of healthy, healthy foods. And that would be fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, seeds, and yeah, I don't know what else to say. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys are interested in training, let me know. Uh, it's a beautiful 75 degree day out here and I just finished filming both videos. Those girls are having fun over there. I think I'm just going to chill in my hammock and put on my sunglasses for a bit. And then I'll go home and start editing these videos. So you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know if there's any other videos you guys want to see. Um, hope you learned a lot about heart disease. Share this with your friends, guys. I don't, I, I want that. There's no reason to have 17 million deaths in heart disease. Why don't we get it down to like 10,000 deaths a year? That would make me happy. I know that's not going to happen, but hey, point is share this video. Lives could be saved. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.